Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 3 of this vintage ocean liner tutorial, or the Princess Harmony if you like to call it that. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's funnels, forecastle deck details, masts, and a few other bits along the way. I might get the whole tutorial done in this part, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to push uh, to do too much, but if we can get it all in, then that's, a quid, that's where quid's in. So, um, What we're going to do first is work on the ship's funnels, of which there are three. So we're going to put the bases in first, and what we're going to do now is go down to... Uh, we've got these squares here on the top deck house now. Got two squares and then another deck house over there. These will be where the funnels go. So what we'll do... You've got the first line which is behind the ship's wheelhouse. The wheelhouse is there. And then you've got this first line at the front of this square here. And this is going to be where the funnel goes. So from the centre block, which I don't know where it is. I think this is the centre block here. We're going to go to the third block back on the wood. So one, two, three and put our funnel there. So build the funnel three wide there. So that's where the funnel, the funnel will go. So you've got the deck house there and the funnel will go uh, three blocks back from this line here. From the deck house itself it is uh, uh, 18 back. So 18 blocks back from the deck house itself if you want a more accurate uh, description. So three back from this line or 18 back from the deck house. Anyway, three wide at the front and then we want two out and two out to the sides, two out and two out again on the other side, and then go back two, like that, and then back three, one, two, three, and then curving back in, we want three, one, two, three, and then two, two. Same the other side, two back, and then one, two, three, curving in, one, two, three, two, two, and one in the center like that. And there we go. So there's our first funnel base done. And then what we'll do then is leave a 22 block gap. So count back to block 23 behind the funnel. So behind the funnel, go back 23. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And do the same again. So it's once again, it's third block back on the wood from the line of the second box. So I just do the same design again. Two out, two out, two back. One, two, three. One, two, three, two, two. Two back. Three, three, two, two. One in the middle. And that's funnel number two. And then it's the same again from the back of funnel number two. You want to go back 23 blocks. But this one's a bit trickier because you got got uh, the go up and down bits. But it should be the same, the same distance. So 23 back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So block 23 back, do the same again. So 3 wide, like so. Uh, 2 out, 2 out, 2 back. 2 out, 2 out, 2 back. 3, 3, 2, 2. 3, 3, 2, 2. And 1 in the middle, and there we go. There's all 3 funnels laid out like so. And all three funnels are identical, apart from the whistles on the first funnel. And uh, there we go. As long as they're all placed out like that, and it shouldn't look too bad. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to build the funnel. We're going to work on the first funnel, because, like I say, all three of them are the same, so you're just going to need to do one. So from the centre of the first funnel, this block here, we're going to build up the grey 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then behind that top block up 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then in black we want up 7 on top, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and there we go, because these are quite tall spindly funnels, and that's the design we want, so it's just slanting it back slightly, and then you're going to continue that same design on all of the blocks shown, so I build the first few blocks of each section, so on this block here build the same again, Next one back, build the same again, and then back again, same again there. And then on the outside three, build the same design on the front of the three, and then on the back of the three. So on the back of the funnel, it's the same again. So build that same design, facing the same direction the whole time on those blocks shown. So I just do the first few, and then I'll try and well, I'll, I'll cheat a little bit. So, so that's the first couple of rows done, by the middle done, and then just the next row like so, and then the black, and then the next row along, 
this is well, I'm using light grey concrete as well but as this is a fictional ship and you can sort of modify it a bit you can choose any colour you want um, I'm just going with the grey because it's generic so there's the first four rows and now we're on the outside edge so not like every section is the same everything will be fine but there will be changes uh, along the way because we've got to slant the funnel but apart from that everything's fine so I'll just do the next few rows as well there we are like that so you can see getting the shape done and then carry on the same thing around the back so Yeah, like I say, it's a fictional ship. You can modify it as much as you want, as long as you remember to remember where you got it from. You know, there are a lot of people out there plagiarizing and taking what's mine and claiming it as their own. There's a lot of that going on recently, and if it carries on, then I'm going to leave because I'm fed up with being taken for a ride. And I'll take the channel with me as well, so people can't keep ripping me off. So. If people keep ripping me off, then the channel's going to go, so... There we go. But I'll just do the last row in the middle at the back. And like I was saying, if you want to build this part of a downloadable project, a video on YouTube, and modify it for yourself, because like I say, it's a fictional ship, you can do changes to it. Just remember that, you know, I, I was the creator, and I just want to mention, that's all. I don't want money or anything, I just want a mention and a link to this original build, so... I'm not forgotten. And there we go, so that's, that's what I asked. Anyway, there's the funnel done on one side. And it should look something like that. So what we need to do now, just go on the inside, like, like with the ship's hull on the previous two videos, or the previous video before that. Uh, just go on the inside and fill in the gaps. This may take another few minutes to do, but... I'm just doing as much as I can on camera. So people don't get assy. But I'm just going to do the one side, and then I'll copy it to the other side in a minute, because... I just like doing one side and then I use a weld it on the other side. And then one more section to fill in. And there we go, so there's one side of the funnel done. It should look something like that. So like I said, I've only done one side, so the other side is completely empty right now, but what we're gonna do first, before I do the other side, is just to add these slants to the funnel. So if we go to the top and look at the funnel side on like so, so looking at it from the side we're going to create the slant which is cutting blocks out so we're going to go and count from the side we're going to leave the first four blocks, so count four one, two, three, four leave those ones and then from the fifth block we're going to cut away four, so one, two, three, four like that and then the last three blocks we're going to cut down two down, so one, two, three and then across the back like that and there you go, so that creates the slant of the funnel at the top and it's going to be the same underneath, so we're going to cut the top of the grey down now, so go from the side grey, top of the grey, and do the same again, so 1, 2, 3, 4, leave those, and then from 5 we go 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, and then the last 3, cut down 2, so 1, 2, 3, like that, and then across the back as well, and also do across the front, or oh, the front doesn't matter because that's already done, but there's the slant of the funnel, like so, and it don't look too bad. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. And then what I need to do now is just increase, just build that to the other side. Now, so I'm just going to weld it this quickly, so I'm just going to use these as markers. So go and build this on the other side, or copy it to the other side. So I just stand back here and just do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, there's our funnel done there, and that's both sides done. And it should look something like that. And then last few jobs for the funnel itself is to add a black line to the front of the grey from the bottom up. So from the bottom we go up. Just add a line to the front of it. This will be the ladder. Like so. And then get the ladder itself. Fly down to the bottom. And then just add the ladder. Like so. 
so and then at the top using well I've only got cobblestone wall for this but you've probably got a few other things uh, we use for whistles so you can either put a single whistle like that or you can put two whistles like that or even be even more fancy do three whistles entirely up to you what you want to do but that is most of the detail done with the funnel I can't remember if I did any grilling grills to the top of the prototype I just need to check the prototype uh, yes I did yes I did so on the inside of the funnel is at the top I did add some grills so if we go the inside of the funnel and then one down from the top and then one back we just add some grills across the top these are more for structure rather than anything else I think it's basically just lines across the top inside of the funnel like so and look at it that's literally it um, and that's it that is all the funnel done so that's funnel number one done you just need to do the same for the other two so um yeah won't be too bad uh, so there we go that's funnel number one done so what, I, what, I, what I'll do now I should do a jump cut while I should do the other two funnels and then we should move on to something else so uh, back in a moment okay back again so there's the funnels in place and the ship should look something like this in theory so there we are there's all done and it's looking pretty good now uh, very tall skinny funnels and uh, quite happy with that actually uh, still plenty more detail to go on but the silhouette of the ship is very much there so that's the funnels done and out of the way so what we're going to do now is finish off the details on the top superstructure or deck houses rather so we're going to go behind funnel number one and we're going to add a skylight and two vents so go behind the first funnel and from the funnel base at the back or from the funnel at the back we're going to go to the sixth block back behind the funnel so one two three four five six back and we'll build our skylight on the sixth block so the skylight is seven wide, so that's one, two, three that way, one, two, three that way. And the sides are twelve, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and across the back like like so. And then the front wall and the back wall will add five on the front. One, two, three, four, five, and three on top. One, two, three. Same on the back. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three to make a pyramid shaped skylight and then through the center just add a spine like so and then every other block will just add a block attached to the spine to create the ribs of the skylight like we did with the previous video like that and then we'll just use stairs court stairs or whatever whatever color you're using if there's stairs available we shall use the stair blocks for things and if you've got I don't know if there's uh, glass stairs yet in Minecraft. I know I don't have them, but if there is today, whatever version you're using, you can put glass in between and it'll make it look like it's glazed, or black glass to make it look, look like it's uh, blackout, if you know what I mean. But you know, black stair, or whatever, whatever you want to do, you know, you can use anything. But I am at still very basic because I just use this version for reliability rather than looking fancy. But there we go, there's our skylight done. And it should look something like that. So the two vents that I was talking about go from the front wall of the of the de uh, of the skylight. So the front wall of the skylight, which is here, from the corner, we're going to go out to the uh, fifth block out to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, and build that as the middle of our skylight, uh, middle of our vent. Sorry, so it's five out, and that's the middle of the vent. So we put blocks around the four sides like that. And then we'll build the vent to five high. So two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, plus two in the middle. And we'll have these ones facing forward as well. So stairs on the tops, like that facing forward. And then the blocks on the front going two forward, two forward, two forward, and one. And then the blocks, stairs, and things, like so underneath like that and there we go there is our vent done there we do the same on the other side so it's five out so one two three four five middle block and then the block around and then build up two three four five two three four five two three four five two three four five plus two in the middle and then facing forward for the stairs blocks two forward two forward two forward and one and then stair stairs stair stairs Stairs, 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 and there we go. There's our vents and skylight done there. Marvellous. 
So what we'll do now is go to the area behind funnel number three and there are two skylights that go there so we'll go behind the funnel of number three and from the back of the funnel we're going to go to two blocks back so one two back and then out four one two three four and build a block and then do the same on the other side go out back two and out four one two three four and a block like that so there's our pinpoint of the skylights now from these blocks you're going to build outwards four so this is the one on the right build out four one two three or make it four wide rather so it's four wide in total so build out three and then the sides are six one two three four five six one two three four five six and across the back and then around the base on the top you're just going to add stairs like so so stairs all the way around like that and then how do we do this one we're going to glaze this top so we're going to put two bars across like so and then glass in between oh, like so, so it's very basic skylight but that's how it is so do the same on the other side so out three one two three and the sides are six one two three four five six one two three four five six and across the back and then stairs around the top of the base like so court stairs concrete stairs any color stairs whatever whatever your superstructure color is use well, I say use quartz because it looks better in my opinion, but depending on the version you're using. But uh, there we go. So then just add the top beams and the glass. And there we go. There is our skylights done. So that's majority of the deck house details done. Uh, there is one more thing we need to do, and that's the handrails. So we're going to go back, get it to start behind the bridgeways, and we'll do the handrails there. So get our handrails wherever they are, these iron bars. And we'll go from the stairs on the back of the bridge wings by the wheelhouse and we'll just add handrails going around the deck houses like so. Up to the stairs. Now at the top of the stairs I always put a block to end the handrails and the same on the other side put a block to end the handrails there. And we'll go around the funnel support areas and put the blocks at the end again and add our handrails around. Like so, not brilliant, not perfect, but it's it's a pretty thing. I mean, the handrails are pretty basic, but like so, and add more blocks again. Now, I normally leave the handrails till last, but as we're doing the ship section by section, I thought I might as well do this. And it's only on the top of the deck houses we're doing because the lifeboats will get in the way on the side of the ship, so handrails are not really required there. Um, put a block there and a block there. So handrails again out to the side, go all the way forward. Then up to the other side, like so. Then handrails again. Block there and block there. Handrails again. And up to the bridge wings there. And there we go. There's our handrails in place. And we can also add handrails on the lines between the funnels as well. So we've got the funnels sort of segregated. And we can put handrails in between those as well because you're not going to want your customers or your passengers mingling with the big funnel thing there. So and just put those in there like that. And then the same with the funnel number two. Funnel number three is on its own, so I've not done the handrail there, but there's the first deck house done. Like that. And then the funnel funnel number three deck house, we'll just do that one as well. Add our handrails around the vents. Get all these in place. go and there's our handrails done there so that is the top deck well the top superstructure done anyway there will be more to go on because there'll be lifeboats and things but we'll worry about those uh, at a later day but that's the majority of the details done in that area um so yeah so what i'm going to do now i'm going to do another jump cut want to work out what i'm doing next and then we shall move on so uh back in a moment okay back again so what we're going to do now is focus on the ship's stern area which i'm going to focus on the deck house uh, and docking bridge, so we're going to go right down to the back end of the ship, right down to the ass end, and it's very round here. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do: go from the center block on the black, and then on the wood, we're going to count back to the sixth block on the wood. So one, not six forward, rather. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's where our deck house will begin. So put a center block. So six forward. I just count that again: one, two, three, four, five, six. That, and then this deck house will be 
five wide, so that's two oop, either side like that. Like that. And then we want so that's two wide, and then we want uh three rows of two out, so one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Curving forward. Same the other side. One, two, one, two, one, two. So you've got a V-shaped thing like that on the back of your ship. And then on the side we go two forward, one, two. And then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then a four, one, two, three, four. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then back on the front, windwards, two, like that. So do the same on the other side. So it's two forward. And then uh, two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then one in, two, like that. So you're shaped like that. And then you go inwards seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there we go. So there's our deck house done, like so. Well, sort of. And then the uh, front wall, which we just built here, is now build that to four high. So just this front wall, build it to four high, so like that. So just this front wall for now, build it four high. Because we're going to add the overhangs to it, so there's our front wall, four blocks high, and then out to the side, along the top block here, we're going to build out to the side, and we're going to go out eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that goes right out to the edge of the ship like so, and then we're going to build back towards the back end again, we're going to build back three, one, two, three, and it should follow the contours of the of the hull, it, the hull itself, so hopefully everything will be fine, so it's back three, and then we want... Uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm trying to work this one out. So it's five, uh, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, inwards two, one, two, inwards three, one, two, three, inwards two, one, two, and then a color block to mark the center like that, and that hasn't worked because I have boo booed somewhere. Let me double check that, so I think it's uh, 5, 4, hang on, 5, 4, 3, 3, 3, and then it was, oh, it's 5 rows of 2, so it's 1, 2, 3, yeah, screw it up, I know, because it's 5 rows of 2. So, I've already put 4, and then we want to, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 rows of 2, there we go, and then inwards 2, 1, 2, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 2 again, 1, 2, and then the colour block, there we go. Yeah, my mistake, because my handwriting is so piss poor, I did, I missed out the other two, so. But do the other side, and hopefully things will be better. So back to the top block on the on the side, on the whatever here. Build out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back three. One, two, three. And then we want five. One, two, three, four, five, and four. One, two, three, four. Three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then five rows of two. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Inwards two, one two, inwards three, one two three, and then two again, one two. And there we go, all lined up with the other side. Marvellous. Right, there we go. Beautiful. Right, now the rest of the walls in this area here, now this on this shape, this walnut shaped, well not walnut, acorn shaped wall down here, we're going to build that to three high, so it's one block lower than the rest, because this, on top of these walls, when they're done, will be the deck, so. We'll get to that in a moment. Just build these walls three high underneath like so. And then everything should be fine. There will be another deck house that goes on top. That will be the bridge wings or the docking bridge itself. So we'll get those in in a minute. And there we go. There's our walls done like so. And then for the... Um, the deck itself on top, what we're going to do is go into the corners of the uh, overhang and just add the deck like so. And then the deck will will sit on top of the walls we just built. Like so. So then we just add those wall add, add that deck all the way around. All in that space there. And then everything should be fine. So I should use the world edit to fill that in, just to, just to just speed it up. So I should use fill wood by two hundred and that will fill in the whole area. It did. Much quicker than I was expecting. And it should all look something like that. It does look a bit odd, but well, there is more detail to go on, so don't worry too much. And what we can do now, start adding doors or windows to this area. So 
Uh, we'll put some doors on the front wall first to get our doors. And as before, these are just going to be randomly placed, so don't worry if it's if you can't copy it. Just just do your best, because like I say, it's 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 just me being very cheap with the design. Because there's no deck plan to the ship, because of course it's fictional, so you can do what you like with it. But there's the front wall there, and then the rest of the walls you can just sort of put windows, really. There's not a lot of room to put anything else on, so I just put windows around. And uh, everything should work out tiddly boo, really. And there we go, there's a few doors and windows done. And it don't look too bad. So that's that's the uh, the top, well, the first platform of the stone deck house done. There's another deck house to go on in just a minute, so what am I looking? Um, so yeah, so that's that bit done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut when I work out what I'm doing next, and then we shall move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to move on to the next deck house. So, uh, we'll go to the back of the ship again, and we're going to go to the very back end on the top deck here. And we're going to go to the seventh block forward. So, in the use our color block, go seven blocks forward on the wood. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And put our color block there. And this deck house is much smaller and it's going to be seven wide. Hang on. Nine wide, sorry, nine wide. So, four either side. One, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. Like so. And then the sides you want to build forward five. One, two, three, four, five. And the same the other side, one, two, three, four, five. So you've got that shape like that. And then out to the side, we want to go out three, one, two, three, forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then in three, one, two, three, and then forward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that to the front. So do the same the other side. Out three, one, two, three, forward five, one, two, three, four, five, in three, one, two, three. Forward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and across the front, like so. So there's our deck house base done, and it's sort of that shape. And now the back wall, we're going to increase that to four high, so the back wall here, four high. Like so. And then for the bridge wings, we're going to go from the top block here out to the side 14 blocks so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then we go forward uh, 4 1 2 3 4 and then inwards 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 or they are 11 have I got this right I don't think I have it have I? yeah that'll do fine and then forward one and then down two. One, two, like that. There we go, that'll do. Yeah, confused me a bit there. So do the same on the other side. So out 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Forward four. 1, 2, 3, 4. Inwards 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Forward one. Down two, like that. And there's your bridge docking wings like that. And then the area between the docking, the back wall and the docking bridge pillar here, build to three high. Same the other side. Like that, and then the rest of the walls, built to four high, so... Get those in place. this all by hand may as well there we go there's a docking bridge sort of done and you look at the prototype I think that's fine and then what we'll do then is just add the deck on the inside so go from the bridge wings add the deck in there like this like that and then we we'll just use the fill tool again to fill in the rest there we go. So that's the, the docking bridge done like that. And then in the corners where the docking bridge attaches to the walls here, we're going to add some stairs. So we're going to add wood stairs. 
Here's one. I want to keep moving the doors or uh, put the stairs. Let's get our stairs. And in the corner, like I say, where it reattaches to the to the deck house, remove a block. And then we just put stairs going down from the from the docking bridge down like that. So in those corners like that. And then use your white blocks. Put some banisters in and supports. So uh, two up, two up, two up like that. And there we go. So do the same on the other side. Remove a block and then stairs, 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 stairs. Plus the supports. And then two up, two up, two up like that. And it don't look too bad. And then you can add the doors or windows again to this deck house. So I put a few doors and windows in, put a window there, window there, and then a pair of doors on the side. And then a window there. And windows across the front. And then do the same on the other side. And then around the back as well, put a pair of windows or so, or three windows across the back. And then under the bridge wings, do what you like, put another pair of windows or so. Or three windows. There we go, there's those dead windows and doors done there. So what I'm going to do, I should do another quick jump cut and work out what I'm doing next. There's still more detail to go on. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is finish off the details with the vents and a couple of skylights and then handrails. So we're going to start with the vents first on either side of the top deck house. So I've got the front wall of the deck house here, which is the top one, of course. Then we're going to go to the... Uh, I'm trying to work it out. Four out, so I'll go one. I'll start on the wood. Okay, one, two, three, four out, and then three back. One, two, three. Actually, two back. So now do this again. So one, two, three, four out, and two back to there. So that's where we're going to want to put our cross. So it's in this corner basically. So three out. No, one, two, three, four out, two back, and then that'll be the center of the of the vent. So build the vent around the outside like so, and it's the same design. So it's five high. So it's Two three four five, two three four five, two three four five, <gasps> two three four five, and then the two, and then you get your stairs. And I can never remember where I put them. There we are. So I stair, 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 stairs again. It's the same design that I use all the way around. Two forward, two forward, one, two forward, and then the stairs all the way around. Same on the other side. And there we go. So that's that vent done on that side. And then it's the same on the other side. So we'll go down to the wood on the other side and go one, two, three, four out, two back. And it's the same process again. Build the same vent. So two, three, four, five up, two, three, four, five up, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, plus two in the middle. And the stairs like so. And then forward, 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 forward. And then stairs, 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 stairs. <gasps> stairs, 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 stairs. There we go. So that's that one done there, and that's two vents done, and that's that little detail done there. Now what we're going to do now is move down, uh, move on to the top of the deck house now, and we're going to add some skylights, and go from the centre block on the front. So on the wood, we're going to go back to the fifth block back. So one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to build our skylight three wide, and the sides are three. One, two, three. So one, two, three. It's basically that size. So it's the same ones we did on the top over there behind the f behind funnel number two or number three I can't remember. And then we're going to leave a single block gap and then do the same again. So three wide and then one two three that way. And there you go. There's where your two skylights go. And then using the stairs, just go around the outside like so. And there's your skylight plus the glass on the top. And then the same with the other one on the back. like so and then the glass in between like that and there you go there's the scow lights done like so and now what we're going to do now just add handrails around the edge of the uh, of the top of the uh, bridge wing so I'll start on the final corner here and just go across the back so around the bridge wings on the stern here the docking bridge basically and go all the way around and everything should work out fine Go up to the stairs. Where, where the stairs are, I put a block at the top each side, and then add the handrails connected to that. 
And then all the way around. And then the blocks on the stairs, and then the handrails again. There we go. So there's our handrail done there. And it don't look too bad. So next job we'll do is go down onto the next deck below, but underneath the bridge wings basically. To the deck house, we just put the vents on and just add the handrails again around that. And then we're going to add some pillars after that. So we'll get the handrails in first. All the way around. I really do dislike these handrails things. And they look okay on the ship, but they're just really awkward to put in place. I know there are people out there who can mod them a bit and make them look a bit better, but it's still going to be a pain in the ass to do. And there we go, so there's our handrail done there. And then we'll work, what we want to do then is to get our... What do we want to use? I'm going to use birch fence posts for this. And so what we're going to do, underneath the bridge wings, directly underneath the edge of the ship, well, not quite directly the edge of the deck, but on the inside, just trying to work out where... Basically, just want to build a pillar to connect to the side. So if you, if you build a pillar on the wood, going directly up to the uh, underneath the bridge wing, and then do the same on the under, on the front of the bridge wing as well. So you just want on the edge of the wood. Basically, if you can see on the edge of the wood and on the edge of the docking bridge above, as long as they're connected up like that, it's not a very good explanation. But you just want to build them like that, so the so the support is on the edge of the wood, but connected to the bridge wing. Shit, fell off. Yeah, and it should, it should look something like that. I just do the same the other side. It's best to my abilities. So I think it's in that corner here, yeah, in that corner there. So this is this is this is sort of a random placement because, like I say, I can't. I don't have the exact position of where they go, but but there we go. There is our posts holding up the hand, uh, holding up the bridge wings there. Like I say, it's a pain in the ass to do, but you know. So that's that job done. Now we're going to move down to the next deck and we're going to go right to the back of where the uh, superstructure ends and where all these pillars are here. We're just going to add handrails around the back of the ship, along the edge, around the back, around to the other side. And we're just going to add our handrails in like so. Now if you're familiar with my builds, you know this is going to annoy me. It is where the handrails are connected to the side of the ship. They go over bits of wood, which are like this on the edge of the ship where they're not connected. So we remove the bits of wood underneath the handrails and replaced with black block so it's all unison so it's, it's just a, a cosmetic thing I know some people don't really care but to me it is annoying so you see here's another one replace that with wood uh, with black and I'm just going to do that all the way around so every corner block where there's wood I'm going to replace it with black so I'm just going to do this all the way around and then I'll put the handrails in like I say it's something that bothers me it may not bother you but it's just a little cosmetic thing a bit of vanity and I'm not really a vanity person but this is Something that does bother me. I mean, talk about vanity. I just shaved my head the other day and I don't care about how I look. If you look at me, I'm someone who's got their head on upside down. I've got a big beard and a bald head. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So I just finished the handrails. I've done all the edges, so I just finished the handrails now going all the way around. And I'll say these things are really boring to put in place, but they have to be there. And there we go, there's the handrails done there like so. So the next job we want to do now is to add some more pillars, but these this these ones will go underneath the uh the, the the main bridge, the uh, deck house, because the deck house at the top we just dumped with those two pillars there, and now we're going to add some more pillars under here. Now these ones will go on the edge of the ship, but not quite the edge of the ship, but on the edge of the wood, so we're just going to put a pillar first there, this will go under the front wall of the deck house there, and you're going to put it, see it's right on the edge of the wood there, so it doesn't, you can put them on top of the, the handrails if you want to, but they look a bit odd, so I put them on the deck inside like that, and they're so, kind of like the pillars we've done over there, they're not end rods but they're the same dimension so they're going to be every third block so one two and then another pillar there and then one two and then another pillar so it's every third block so count one two three pillar one two three pillar one two three pillar one two three 
pillar. One, two, three. Oop. One, two, three. Pillar. One, two. I uh, put one in the center there. Like I said, there we are. There's our pillars done there. They look okay, but uh, they, look, they, they look a bit odd in comparison. I mean, personally, in my opinion, it, it'd probably be better if you change these end rod pillars to birch wood as well, so they match the pillars over there. But it's up to you. Um, I would do that if this ship was built this year, but as this ship is an older design, say so this is a 2020, an early 2022 build, so if it was then, I'd, if it was now, I'd change it. But as it's an old one, I won't bother. But I'm just going to do the do the pillars on the other side. So I put the first pillar in just under the front of the wall front wall and then we do every third block so one two three pillar 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 mm, pillar there 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 right there we are there we are there's our <laughs> pillars done there so that's the stern area done and the deck has to look quite good and this is something that I've learned not doing my builds because sometimes when you've got the handrails on the edge of the ship and you need to add a pillar it's best to move the pillar in a block so it, uh, it still looks good it, uh, but it uh, doesn't interrupt the flow of the handrail so it's that's how I do things anyway so what I'm going to do now is we're going to move on to doing the next structures of the ship well next structures but next pieces so we're going to go to the front wall of the superstructure uh, deck house. So the deck house we just finished. We're going to go to the front of that onto the main deck, and we're going to add two vents. So we're going to go two. Hang on, we want to go uh, two blocks forward. So from the centre, go two blocks forward. So one, two. Make it three actually. One, two, three, and then out three. So one, two, three out. Let's try to think how to do this. So the vent two in front. No, it's a single vent actually. Yeah, it's a single vent. So go one, two, three forward. And we'll put our vent there. So that's the centre of the vent. One block either side. Like so. So yeah, it's a single vent. I thought it was a double one, but it's a single. So it's we'll another same design as before. Yeah, so it's a single vent. I thought it might have been two either side, but it's not. It's just one. So we'll do the same design we've done before. And get our stairs again, which I keep throwing away. There we go, so there's our vent almost done, just build the two blocks. Like so. And I have to say, this pro this ship is probably best as an improv, because I do keep screwing up while I'm doing things. Well, not doing things, but screwing up where I've written things down. And never mind, there's the vent done there, so that's that. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to add a couple of skylights. So go, down, go back down to the vent, and for the skylights, we're going to go one forward of the vent, so one forward to this block here. Which I've just broken, and then we're going to go uh, three blocks out. So one, two, three out, and build three like that. And then the other side, one, two, three out, and build three like that. And these skylights are the same design we've just done on the top up there. So they're going to be three for the sides. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one across. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one across there. And then it's going to be the stairs on the top, like so, all the way around. And then the glass on the top, like so. So do the same with the other one. And there's the glass again. And there we go. So there's our skylighty done things down like that. And then we'll go back go back down to the vent. And we're going to add a cargo hatch. So we'll go back down to the vent and we're going to count forward five blocks. Or is it six or five? No, six blocks forward of the vent. So one, two, three, four, five, six put our center block of the hatch and the hatch is 13 wide so that is uh, six other sides so one two three four five six that way and one two three four five six that way and the sides are seven forward so one two three four five six seven see on the other side one one two three four five six seven and across the front like that and then on the center of the of the hatch we're going to build a spine of blocks like that and then we'll put some slabs either side. So put slabs slabs on the cover. So the centre spine will be a block high. The rest of it will be just be a slab high. And it should all look something like that. That's 
one side and let's do the other side quickly. And there we go, so there's our hatch done like so. And I don't look too bad, so bear with me while I just read my notes what we're doing next. Right, so next thing we want to do is okay, go just just go forward of the of the sky, forward of the vent by a block, and we're going to put a mech, which is going to be three lines of black blocks, like so, three rows of two, like so, and then join them together. These things, I, I don't know what they are exactly, but they're pulleys and uh, pulleys and derricks and things that attach rigging and cables to cranes, masts, and things like that. So these things will have cables and wires around them if they were real so that's what they are. I just call them mechs because like I said I don't know what they actually are but that's that. So that's the that's a mech added there. And then what we're gonna do then is go from the back to the hatch and then we're gonna go nine blocks forward of the hatch. So count the if we go from the hatch we'll count forward nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So put a centre block there. And then we're gonna go out seven so one two three four five six seven so count out seven and then build um three wide like so so these will be cranes so put three wide there that side and then the same the other side so it is out seven so count out seven one two three four five six seven and then one two three on the seventh block so there we are so that's the two crane bases there so get rid of the center block so you've got two crane bases now three blocks wide like so and we'll do one first so the first crane and they're going to be 12 high, so that's one already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then around the back, we want a row of three across, like so. So there's the crane body. And then the crane arm is going to go up from the third block from there, and it's going to be on the outside block, like so. We're going to want uh, five rows of three forward, so I'll do one row first. That's one. Two, three, four, five. So it's five rows of three like that. Same on the other other side of the crane. One, two, three, four, five rows of three like that. And then join them together at the end like that. And then in the middle, you're going to want another two rows of three. So one, two. So two rows of three like that. And there's your crane pretty much done. And then using iron bars. All the handrails or anything you can use that only represents rigging. And I've just thrown a block away, didn't mean to do that. Uh, go from the top of the crane, and we're going to build diagonally down with handrails connecting to the arms of the of the crane. So I just build these going down diagonally down to the crane. These things are a pain in the bum to do. And there we go, there's one done there. Do the other side. So there's our crane done there. So that's that, that little thing done there. So I just want to do the same thing the other side. I think what I do, I just copy and paste it. Because exactly, like I said, exactly the same this side, exactly the same thing. So I'm going to save a little bit of time by just copying and pasting it. Because I'm lazy. Um, copy down to there. And we'll just copy from the middle. I do. Actually, I don't need to do that, do I? I'm going to just copy from up here. So I've got one in place, just quickly copy, flip to the right, and then with paste. And there we go, there's our crane the other side. And she should look something like that. Marvellous. So like I said, I just wanted to save a bit of time there. And there's our cranes added. And they don't look too bad. Um, one more job for this area before we move on to something else is to add the stairs going from the deck we're just building on here, which is the main deck, up to the next deck, which is, I think, Promenade don't really know exactly but the next deck up go to the back wall of said deck which is just behind the cranes or in front of the cranes and we're going to build or count count in six blocks in from the side so that's the first block there so one two three four five six and remove two blocks and then with stairs build down to the deck with the cranes on so you're going to need a few white blocks to put the supports in and there's your stairs there, so you build the banisters. 
stay on the other side. And there we go, there's our stairs added there. So do the same on the other side. So it's six blocks in from the side, so count number one on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remove two and replace with our blocks and stairs like so. So there's the stairs, banisterazos, banisters rather, and then there we go, there's the stairs done there. So there's two sets of stairs done like so. So that's that little job done there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another jump cut while I work out what I'm going to do next. Um, and then we can move on, so uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Um, so what we're going to do now is move on to the ship's rudder and propellers. And then I'm going to call it a day because uh, I'm running out of time for today. But I know I said, I think I said at the beginning of the video I was going to work on the ship's forecastle and mast. But I'm going to leave those two things to part four. Uh, so I'm just going to do the propellers now. And then the rest of it will be for part four. So we're going to do the rudders first. So I'm going to go under the ship, under the back here. And I'm going to get some night vision because you cannot see shit under here. Seriously, can't see anything. Uh, so, use night vision. And then we're going to get our uh, cobblestone wall. This is what I use anyway. Cobblestone wall uh, for the hinges. And we're going to go down to the keel. Then we're going to put nine hinges every other block. So, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hinges like that on the back of the ship. So, this is right underneath the stern, like so. So, you get your nine hinges. And then for the rudder itself, you're going to go from the bottom hinge, and in red you're going to build back four. So one, two, three, four, and then two, two like that, and then up five. One, two, three, three. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, and then curving forward you're going to want four. One, two, three, four, and three. One, two, three, like that, and then build forward in red to connect to the rest of the hinge, and then fill that all in. Do this quickly. Da 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 Like so, and then in black, from the top of the red, you're going to want to build up two, one, two, and then three. One, two, three, and one forward to connect to the stern, uh, hinge like, um, uh, yeah, hinge like that, and then fill that all in. So there's your rudder, shaped like that. I can't really tell, but there you go, there you go, there's your rudder. And that's how it should be shaped. Marvellous. Now for the propellers, these things are a bit more complicated. I'm going to be using quartz for these, but you can use any anything that has stairs with it, really. Anything that has matching coloured stairs. So I'm going to use quartz blocks. Quartz, quartz, quartz there. Quartz blocks and quartz stairs. I've already got quartz there, so it doesn't really matter. Get rid of that one. So for the rudder, uh, propellers rather, we're going to go from the kill and count that as number one. And we're going to count up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then count forward seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to count out using another colour. So I use yellow for this one to make it stand out. I'm going to count out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block is the centre of our, our propeller. So it's up seven, forward seven, and then out seven. The seventh block being the centre of the propeller. So we'll get rid of the yellow now. We don't need that. And then for the propeller itself, we're going to build up two and two, like that. And then out two and two, down two and two, out two, or in two, like that. So there's your propeller design. And using stairs, we can do a little bit of fancy fiddling here to build a propeller blade. So you want to add four stairs to the, each propeller blade. So one on the back two on the front and then one on the inside there and there we go so there's our propeller shape like that and then a block in the middle for the cone and there we go there's our propeller looks quite neat actually and then from the back of the propeller from the center you're going to build the propeller shaft and this is just red going all the way forward to connect and blend it with the rest of the hole there like so and then back to the back of the propeller just one block gap from the propeller going to build up two 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 and then 
two like that to connect in and then you're just going to blend each section all the way forward to connect in the rest of the propeller shaft flange thing like so like that and there we go there is our propeller shaft done like that I do the other side as well just I don't normally do this but I'll do it anyway so from the keel go seven up so one two three four five six seven forward seven one two three four five six seven and then out seven so one two three four five six seven like so and then it's the same again uh, which way around did I build I can't remember so it's uh, in two two okay so it's the same design but opposite so two 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 Two. <laughs> That's not worked at all. I've done that wrong. Two like that. There we go. Two, 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 two. I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll do. It's very difficult to get you the right way around. Then just do the same process with the propeller shirt, uh, propeller blades, like so. And then the cone in the middle. There we are. So there's our propeller blades. And then it's the same process with the shaft in the middle. And then one block gap from the propeller. Go up two, 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 two. And there we go. And then just blend that all in. Like so. There we go, there's our propellers done. So now the ship has propulsion and turning ability, even though it's a static design. And there the ship shouldn't look too bad. And get rid of this yellow block here, don't know why that's there. And there we go, so that's the stern propellers done. And uh, yeah, so the ship is definitely taking shape. There is one more part to come though, but I'll do that soon, because this I'm not going to do no more today. But for part four will be the details in this area here, which will include masts, vents, and more skylight things. And then the area on the bow, the forecastle, more masts, skylights and vents and things, lifeboats, and then more skylights, masts and things. I don't think there's many more of those things, but they're just tidying up in a few pillars. Um, so that would be that. So that's something for part four. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that done very soon. So this is part three all done and dusted. And that's it. So well, that's me done for today. So like I say, this would be part three done and then we'll come back for part four so this is rich signing off logging off and disappearing and i shall return with part four very soon so uh, bye for now